Welcome back to the Virtual Speed Performance YouTube channel. I'm going to start off the video with an S10 update uh, before I move on to the Camaro stuff. So if you're here for the Camaro stuff, just bear with me real quick or you could skip along in, in the video. So if you guys remember, we went to the track Sunday, which is the last video, and we had the intake off. One of the rockers was off on that on the passenger side. And after we put the intake back on and fixed it at the track, uh, we made three more passes, but it kept slowing down and slowing down. Uh, I think it went like a nine, like the best was a 760. The worst was like a 940-ish, I think. Um, so we came home, we took this, we took this uh, valve cover off and uh, we found these two uh, cylinders, which would be the intake yeah um at five and seven these rockers were off like they literally just fell on the ground um so these two cylinders were were, were dead basically um this i we took this one off but uh you know here but we found those two just those i mean they they literally just fell on the ground in the trailer so um I mean, we're going to assume that's the problem. <laughs> I mean, it's very obvious. It's, it's a big smoking gun there. Um, so, with that being said, um, we're thinking, you know, maybe, you know, these poly locks, uh, they, 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 they rock on the stud. And that's not a, it's, it's, it's not really good. So, we're going to replace the stud, the poly locks, and we even need to replace the rockers because... A few of these rockers are very, if you look at the roller, I don't know, it's very, it hangs up. It's not real smooth. So the roller is not very smooth, which is it, which is not good. So uh, we're going to go ahead and replace the rockers while we're, while, while we're at it. Um, this one barely even moves. So we're also, lash caps. I guess there, I guess there was no lash caps on this motor, so we're gonna put lash caps on it too. So, so anyways, that's the S10 update. We 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 were gonna try and go uh, this this next weekend with the S10. Um, you know, we're trying to get ready to do some bracket racing with it um, and get it dialed in. Uh, I think I'm ready. Yeah, we just need the S10 to get ready. So, um, anyways, on to the Camaro. All right, guys, so here is the Camaro's newly appointed battery, an excess power 16 volt. Here's the part number, D1600. Um, this battery was actually in the Mustang, but the, Mus the Mustang got a new battery. But this battery is about two years old, so. All right, guys, so we got the parachute. Oh, you guys probably haven't seen our parachute pack bag. I uh, got our parachute mount here. Working on mounting that up to the bumper so we can put the bumper on there and uh, then the parachute will be mounted. Then I got to weld two, uh, two tabs down, down at the rear end right there, but right here and uh, then she's mounted. Delicious. Well, that looks pretty good. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, got the uh, parachute. Got some ice welds on the chute mount on the bottom. Yeah, I'm not getting. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm. I was pretty impressed with them, but 
Uh, yeah, we got the parachute uh, pack thing on there. We got this parachute we're gonna pack up there and uh, leave, pro we probably leave that pilot chute out, wait a minute. Yeah, that way it's, cause I, I, like, we're, we're gonna need to take the bumper off again. I think it's, I say let's do it right, let's put the pilot chute Pilot out. in there? I know it sucks. But well, yeah, and it might pop the, because without the pilot chute, yeah, it might look kind of floppy. We have to have a little loop. Oh, you're right. All right, guys, so we got the uh, uh, the parachute mounted up. Uh, look at that, guys, we got the parachute mounted up. Got cord ran down to the uh, rear end. Got the uh, bracket here, good and mounted. And uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you guys that way, you know, it's easier. But uh, there she is. Look at that. You could leave that old style sheet like that, it would look correct for this car. Yeah. Well, that's that's like the drag lights. That's why I, I don't mind the yeah. drag lights because it looks period correct. Yeah. It doesn't bother me as much now. No, it it kind of fade. It just fades away. Look at that, guys. Hold on, let me move this. Uh, move this. Thing. Parachute mounted up. Honestly, a wheelie bar, a net on the wheelie bar might work there. You know, I was thinking maybe a wheelie bar net yeah. to catch that so them cords don't get caught up. Yeah, believe it or not, back in the day, that used to crash a lot of cars. So a new segment on the Virtual Speed Performance YouTube channel is product of the week. We have a big block Chevy intake set up here. That is listed on our website. We sell brand new and used performance parts, hot rod parts, drag race parts, you name it, mud truck. If it makes horsepower, we got you. So this intake setup is for a big block Chevy. Um, it's got a fogger plumbed and a 1050 dominator. The intake set, the intake is for a tall deck, tin, so 10-2 deck, rectangular port heads. It is a very clean intake. It is gasket ma gasket matched by Wilson manifolds. Very like like I said, very clean intake setup. It is a dart. Take a look around the intake. There is a number from Wilson manifolds. The fogger is also plumbed by Nitrous Pro Flow or Wilson manifolds. <clears throat> very nice and very nice fogger setup. The fogger goes from 100 to 500 horsepower. Flip around over here. There's the nitrous solenoid, the fuel solenoid. It is wired, so it comes into a real nice um, wiring harness back here. Here is your purge solenoid and your Y block to go to your two nitrous solenoids. Also to top the intake setup off is a Holley Dominator 10, uh, 1050. So Holley 1050 Dominator, gas carburetor. There is the part number. Take a look around. Also has a fuel log with a fuel pressure gauge. So there it is, if you guys are interested in this intake setup, head to our, our website, www.virtualspeedperformance.com and check out the use section. So we got the uh, wheelie bars on and uh, it looks, looks pretty nifty. It looks awesome. I'll flip the camera around and show you guys. There's the wheelie bars on it. You need that Fast and Furious music to play right there when you do that. F Fast and Furious music? Yeah, like when the garage door opens. It's a TikTok. Oh, <laughs> you watching that? Chinese reels. spy stuff. Yeah, reels. Okay. Uh, Any who's, yeah, the wheelie bars look pretty daggone good. Yeah, they look awesome. With the parachute. Oh, that looks sick, guys. But uh, yeah. 
I'm I'm gonna end up having to order new tail new new lenses because those are they're they're just broke pretty much so um, but it looks pretty daggum good so so here's this mount that I had made uh, for the hood screw it kind of just mounts right on the fuel rail mount there and uh, kind of all in one plus it hides in a way when because we're gonna pop that off and then paint and paint it. I'm gonna do this side because I have to do this side still. Um, when it's when it's blacked out, you really won't see it. Some some cars will have like a big bar that runs across, like right you know right there. And honestly, with the scoop off, it it's not gonna look all that attractive. Where you know this it, it will probably just fade away. At least that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Mini bike. Uh, that's why. It oh, it's so those. soft. Feel it. It is soft. It's like the five day shirt. I want it.